Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking Kojic Acid, one of the true unsung heroes in the skincare world, and an ingredient that honestly I wouldn't be without in my own skincare routine. I think when we're talking skincare acids, our mind automatically goes to the exfoliators, the glycolic acids, lactic acids, and salicylic acids, which definitely have a wonderful place in your skincare routine. But I think the true hidden gems when it comes to acids are the ones that aren't actually exfoliators themselves. Things such as azelaic acid, tranexamic acid, Acid, and of course kojic acid. I'm going to pull it apart in today's video and share with you why I think there should be a place for kojic acid in your own skincare routine. We're going to talk about the pros, the cons, how to use it in a skincare routine and all the information that you need to make the right choice for you. So sit back, relax, let's talk all things kojic acid. Now before we get into this video, I would love to know your thoughts, feelings and experiences with kojic acid itself. Like I said, it's a bit of an underappreciated acid, so a lot of you might have never heard of it, never reached for it in your skincare routine. If you're one of the few people out there that has, sound up in the comments section below and let me know the results that you got. I've had some astounding results in terms of my own hyperpigmentation, dark spots and discoloration from kojic acid, which is one of the main reasons I want to share it in today's video. But your experiences, I would love, love, love to understand a little bit more, so we can kind of feed into the wider conversation. I want to get the message out there when it comes to kojic acid so everyone can work out what it does, whether it's right for their individual skin type. One great way of helping me to achieve that is by reaching down, giving this video a big thumbs up and a like. The more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube distributes it on its platform. So it just helped me get that message out there loud and clear that kojic acid exists and it could be a wonderful addition for your own skincare routine. With all that being said, shall we cut the waffle and just delve straight on in? And I'm breaking this video up into a couple of different sections. First off, we're going to talk what is kojic acid and what what can it do for the skin? We're then going to come on to some considerations, potential side effects, things that you need to be aware of before you reach for kojic acid. And then I'm going to show you how to layer it into a pre-existing skincare routine. And finally, come on to some of my favourite kojic acid containing skincare products if you do want to get one for your own skincare routine. I've left timestamps in the description box below, so if you're more interested in one section of the video over another, be my guest. I won't be offended. You can skip to that using those timestamps. They're all there for your convenience. But let's kick off with what is kojic acid? Well, it's a naturally occurring acid that's usually found in fungi. However, certain fermentation processes also create kojic acid as a byproduct of them, and it's a wonderful, wonderful, versatile ingredient for your skincare routine. I think the primary benefit and the main reason people reach for it is its ability to reduce the amount of pigment our skin produces to help eradicate hyperpigmentation, dark spots, discoloration, and even melasma. So our skin creates pigment, which is like its natural skin protectant. However, sometimes the amount of pigment we produce can go into overdrive. It can also pull unevenly in different areas of the skin which leads to that hyperpigmentation and discoloration. The way that kojic acid works is it actually suppresses the production of tyrosinase which is an enzyme in the skin key to the formation of that pigment. You've got less tyrosinase which means as a result your skin produces less pigment so over time you get a more even complexion, you see those patches of discoloration lift and this is why it's super effective even on really stubborn melasma. Beyond just being a fantastic ingredient for brightening the skin and evening out the complexion, tackling that hyperpigmentation. It's also a powerful antioxidant. I talk about antioxidants all the time on this channel. They are a fantastic addition to your skincare routine because throughout the day free radicals hit our skin. Things such as pollution, particulate matter, certain wavelengths of light. This free radical action hits our skin and it causes oxidative stress. The skin's response to this oxidative stress is to degrade collagen which can lead to fine lines and wrinkles and also can trigger cellular damage. I like to use multiple antioxidants in my skincare routine to kind of mop up, protect against those free radicals before they can do any stressing out of the skin. Kojic acid is a wonderful antioxidant that you can use alongside some of your other favourites to just get some additional benefit. Now kojic acid is also a fantastic anti-inflammatory which is one of the main reasons I consider it like a gold star ingredient when it comes to tackling hyperpigmentation. There are a couple of key triggers for excess pigment production in the skin, the main one being inflammation. So by reducing the amount of inflammation in the skin with an anti-inflammatory skincare routine, this is going to reduce one of the key triggers triggers to the skin's natural pigment production going into overdrive. You get a two-pronged attack with kojic acid because not only are you suppressing inflammation, minimizing the risk of excess pigment production, but as we talked about just now, you're also reducing overall the amount of pigment that's being produced, so it kind of works in multiple ways to tackle that hyperpigmentation super effectively. Finally, kojic acid is also antimicrobial. This is game-changing if, like me, you have super oily and acne-prone skin. It, over time, studies have shown kojic acid can reduce the prevalence of acne-causing bacteria on the skin, which is one of the key triggers to 
breakouts. Okay, it's not going to change your acne overnight, but with consistent use, you will see a lessening of those breakouts and the severity when they do occur. This is definitely one of the additional benefits I love to get from Kojic Acid beyond just being a fantastic brightening and pigment corrector. So hopefully by this point in the video, you know, you understand a little bit more about Kojic Acid and the benefits that it can bring for your skin. And I want to delve into it in a little bit more detail and talk about the pros and the cons for including it as an ingredient in your own skincare routine. Let's start with the positivity and the pros first. Well, actually, studies have shown that Kojic Acid is suitable for long-term use. This is really important because some pigment correcting ingredients like hydroquinone aren't actually safe for long-term usage and you have to use it, take a break, then reintroduce it. This can be a bit difficult to manage because you need to remember how how long you've had it, how long that break period's for, and also during that break period, that hyperpigmentation can return. This is super frustrating. So one of the benefits of Kojic Acid is you can use it long-term and frequently in your skincare routine, and the studies have shown it's perfectly safe to do so. Also, as an ingredient, it's got a very low irritation threshold. So it's not gonna be one of those ingredients that actually triggers a lot of irritation in a number of skin types. Of course, all our skin is unique, and you need to bear that in mind. And if you have a very sensitive skin type, make sure that you introduce it very, very gradually gradually as an ingredient. Everyone should patch test first, but the studies have shown that kojic acid is relatively well tolerated in a range of skin types. I think, you know, for me, that is a super, super important thing because I like to be able to use products frequently and in the long term without the risk of irritation. Finally, there's an awful lot of data that backs up and substantiates how effective kojic acid is when it comes to tackling hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and discoloration. This is really important because whilst I love a bit of anecdotal evidence, you know, you guys sharing the results that you've got from certain products and ingredients, I think when you see that on paper with hard and fast scientific evidence, studies and data, that's when you really know the benefits that an ingredient or a product can bring. You definitely get that with kojic acid, particularly when it comes to hyperpigmentation and discoloration. The studies done onto the use of kojic acid in melasma have been a little bit mixed, so you might need to reset your expectations if you have that particular concern. But for other hyperpigmentation issues, kojic acid has been proven to be really, really effective. Now, in terms of drawbacks or things that you should be aware of when reaching for kojic acid, there is only one that I want to call out, and that, like a lot of other pigmentation correcting ingredients, once you stop using it, there is a risk that hyperpigmentation could return. That's because once you're not consistently applying it to the skin, you're not getting those benefits of the mechanism of action, which means that the body will start reproducing that pigment in its original quantity, which could then lead to discoloration and hyperpigmentation. This is a case with almost all hyperpigmentation correcting ingredients, such as lake acid and tranexamic acid and I'd say that you know to offset this the data is there to show that kojic acid is safe for long-term use so absolutely I'd say if you use it you enjoy it and you get great benefits continue to use it in your skincare routine you can always dial down the amount that you use once you move past the treatment and into the maintenance phase it'll all depend on your individual skin type and skin concerns but I definitely see it as a long-term ingredient rather than something that you use for those short-term gains so hopefully by this stage in the video you're sold on the benefits of kojic acid Acid, you understand how it works and some of the pros and the cons so you can kind of make an informed decision of whether it's right for your own skincare routine. When it comes to actually layering it within your existing skincare routine, the good news is kojic acid is super flexible. It's like friend to all ingredients. There's nothing you really need to be too aware of. Because there is a small risk of sensitivity, I would definitely, definitely be mindful of not using it alongside super potent exfoliating acids or super high strength retinols, especially when you first introduce it as an ingredient. But other than that, you can layer it wherever you want in your skincare routine. Studies have shown that kojic acid actually works beautifully in pairings with some other ingredients. These are glycolic acid because they say studies have shown that when you use kojic acid and glycolic acid together, either in the same skincare routine or in the same product itself, that actually helps the penetration rate of that kojic acid. So you get some additional benefits. It's also shown to pair beautifully well with azelaic acid. That's because they both double down on the benefits of each other when it comes to tackling hyperpigmentation and discoloration, but they have different mechanisms of action, so you're not doubling up on how they work. I would definitely recommend you layering your kojic acid with glycolic acid if you can, and with azelaic acid to just get the maximum benefits and the quickest results for tackling your own discoloration. When it comes to the best products, and let's be honest, this is what you're all here for. You know, we've had all of that waffle and blurb, but let's come on to what are the actual best kojic acid containing skincare products on the market if you do want to get your hands on this wonderful ingredient. Well, there aren't actually that many. To say it's such a wonderful ingredient, 
ingredient, very few brands actually formulate with it. This is changing and I definitely think in the next couple of years we'll see a lot more brands have a kojic acid based product in their skincare collection and I'm all for that. So I might update this down the line when we have a little bit more choice. It can be really difficult to find cruelty free kojic acid products too, which again I found a little bit frustrating. I'd look for kojic acid in a concentration of between 1 and 2% because like I said that's what the data shows to deliver maximum benefit with minimum risk of irritation. My frustration of not being able to find an inexpensive and cruelty free kojic acid product kind of led me on a journey to create my own and I came up with this product. This is the Mad About Skin the Perfect Blend Exfoliating Gel. So you get a 2% concentration of kojic acid in here which those studies show give you maximum results, minimum risk of irritation but it's also paired with other exfoliating acids too. So you can use this as like a twice weekly all over exfoliant which is what I do. It's the only exfoliation I now actually use because I feel like you know a concentration of this strength twice a week gives me everything I need to renew that cellular turnover and give me that gorgeous smooth skin. But on those days where I'm not using this as a standalone exfoliator I'll use a little just pinpoint on the areas where I have those dark spots and discoloration. This means they eradicate a little bit quicker and you get that maximum benefit from that kojic acid which is absolutely safe to use every single day. In here, because you've got 2% pairing of glycolic acid alongside that kojic acid, like I said earlier, it's like the perfect pairing because glycolic acid will get you maximum absorption of that kojic acid, so you just get quicker results and a little extra bang for your buck. This comes in at a relatively affordable price point, and if you did want to get your hands on it, I'll leave a code on the screen for additional 15% off. I've left a link to where you can get your hands on this and all the other products that I'm going to come on to in a minute in the description box below, so if you want to read the ingredients, the reviews, check out the price point where you live, it's all there for your convenience. This comes in a relatively unique gel texture which I prefer if I'm doing more targeted pinpoint work which is really key when you're tackling dark spots or discoloration. I find that a more runny serum can be really difficult to target in specific areas and you don't have a problem with this product. I find that two pumps will do a full facial exfoliation but one pump is more than enough if you're just doing targeted work. It's like a clear gel there which is packed full of aloe vera juice which is going to calm, soothe and hydrate. It's got some other botanicals which is going to minimize the risk of irritation from those exfoliating acids or the kojic acid itself glides onto the skin sinks in really well and it self neutralizes after two minutes so you don't need to worry about buffering before other pH sensitive ingredients such as peptides it's kind of designed to be as convenient and easy to use as possible because after all I'm a skincare consumer and I find some of the other exfoliating products just really difficult to incorporate in my skincare routine kind of don't have the problem with this product you of course don't have to shop my brand there's some other great brands offering kojic acid products out there. One of my favourite is the Dr. Dennis Gross Clinical Pigment Correcting Serum. This comes with a relatively high price point but it's a really nice formulation that takes that kojic acid alongside vitamin C and lactic acid to kind of double down on the benefits when it comes to fighting hyperpigmentation. I'm a little bit disappointed that we don't know the percentage of kojic acid in this product. I reached out to them and they wouldn't return my email and let me know but I think it's probably something around the 1% concentration because you certainly do get great results with this. If you don't mind paying a little bit more for a multi-active formulation, this is definitely one that I'd recommend. Also, the PCA Pigment Correcting Serum is one that I think just about everyone reaches for as like their first point of contact when it comes to kojic acid. This is formulated with kojic acid at 1% concentration and azelaic acid too. I mentioned earlier in the video that this is another great pairing of kojic and azelaic acid to double down on the pigmentation fighting ability of the product and this definitely delivers. It was thanks to Dr. Dre over on her YouTube channel that I tried this out but I did some research and I can't categorically find out whether PCA is an entirely cruelty free brand. So if you guys have any more information on that, sound off in the comment section below. But I'd say do your own research on that. My brand and the Dr. Dennis Gross one, definitely 100% cruelty free. PCA, it was a little bit up in the air. So a little bit more research is needed into that. So if you guys have the info, sound off and let me know. So there you have it guys, a rundown of kojic acid, the benefits it can bring for your skin and my own experience with the ingredient. Honestly, now I've tried it, I won't be without it in my own skincare routine. I think Beyond just been a fantastic way of tackling hyperpigmentation, dark spots and discoloration. Kojic acid also has some other additional benefits which are like the cherry on the cake. The fact that it can minimise the amount of acne causing bacteria, game changing if like me you're particularly acne prone. It's got some antioxidant benefits too and I just think all around it's a wonderful ingredient for your own skincare routine. Sound off in the comments section below and let me know, are you tempted to try Kojic acid? Have you got any other product recommendations that you want to share? Because I'd love to hear from you and wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe. Stay well and love your skin. Take care. Bye.